Hey science crew, today we are going to learn about fossils and uh, what we can actually learn from them and how they kind of help us understand what life was like millions of years ago and how that is evidence for evolution. Okay, so based on your pre-assessments, all of you have an idea of what fossils are and um, you kind of know how they're formed, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time here. Um, but for those of you who want to refresh, they're naturally preserved remains of plants and animals. And they form when these remains are buried quickly and the soft parts usually decompose and minerals get in and turn the hard parts into stone. So you can see here some examples, some fossils. We have footprints on the, on the bottom and then there's this fern and this creature that kind of looks like he could be a cross between a frog or a turtle. Um, can't really tell. Okay. And here's a really important term you should know, it's the fossil record. The fossil record is all the fossils that have been found so far. And, and we can learn a lot from the fossil record. These are all like, fossils that we have found are all like pieces to a puzzle. And when we view all these fossils together, they give scientists an idea about what life was like millions of years ago. And when new fossils are found, they may, they may change our understanding. So we can see if we get more pieces of the puzzle, we can understand the big picture a little bit better. Okay, so we're going to go through one of the things that scientists do when they are looking at skeletons of, of fossils and they're trying to decide what this creature was all about. So let's take a creature that we know a little bit about first and practice. So what do we know about whales? Well, here's a list of things that they we know, and we know these things by because we can see them, we can observe them, we can study them. So it lives in the ocean, it moves by swimming, it eats small fish and lives in groups and is big, um, is a mammal and has a blowhole for breathing. Okay, but what if this animal was extinct? What if we only had its skeleton to study? What would we know about them based on their skeleton alone? Well, looking at this whale skeleton, you can see that it it doesn't really have good legs for supporting how big it actually is. So maybe it lives in water. Um, we can kind of infer that. We can make these inferences based on what we see. Um, it's got a huge mouth, um, but it has a small throat right here. So maybe it eats a lot of small fish at once. Um, it also has nostrils on the top of its head. You can't see them in this picture, but it kind of tells us that it doesn't need to leave the water to breathe but it also tells us that it doesn't breathe the water. It's not a fish. So these are some of the things we can learn just by the skeleton alone. Okay, it's not a complete picture, but we can start to guess. Okay, so what about this animal? This one is one that we've never been able to study in person, in its living form, but what can we infer from its skeleton? So let's look at it, it's got short legs. It probably moves slowly because it doesn't look like those legs would be very good for running. Um, it has plates on its back. These might be for protection. Maybe it's trying to protect itself from predators. Um, it also could be for mating. It could be really decorative pieces to attract mates. Um, if you look here, his face is really low to the ground. So maybe it eats off the ground. And then it also has um, doesn't have sharp teeth. It uh, might just uh, eat plants. So we can start to guess. We don't know everything, but we can make some educated guesses. So let's do this together if you're in class. Um, otherwise, you can just think to yourself and maybe make some notes. But there's a lot of illustrations of dinosaurs. You know, you've seen them in your children's books. Do you think these drawings represent what dinosaurs actually look like or why? So that's one thing to ponder. And then another thing to ponder is how do scientists determine the characteristics that don't get fossilized? When you think back to that whale, we know that whales mostly are social animals, but we can't tell that from its fossils. So there's lots of characteristics about these living creatures that um, we cannot tell from their fossils alone, but we can tell from maybe from other clues. So. Now we're going to pretend to be our own paleontologists, okay, people who study uh, fossils, 
and we are going to look at this creature. Okay, if you're in class, you're going to end up drawing it. If you're at home, uh, you're going to want to print out one of the hand, the the attached file, and do this as well. So, what do you think this creature looked like? Okay, draw it on paper and then make inferences about it. And the link is on Canvas if you need it, or you can get a copy from the classroom. But I want you to take some time, sketch this creature. What do you think it looked like when it was alive? And what do you think uh, it, where do you think it lived? And why do you think you, it lived there? And then answer also, like, how, what did it act like? What is its behavior? What it, foods did it eat? Um, make those same inferences like we did with the Stegosaurus. Um, and um, you, you'll end up turning that in in class. So we're pretending to be paleontologists, and um, I hope you enjoy this little lesson. I think it's kind of fun. Okay, so I will see you next time.